OK, this demo is to show you how CatBase can publish tables in varying sizes and styles and with pictures embedded. So I've selected three products here and this is from our furniture database. These products are sectionals, which is um, sofas and that kind of thing that are available. They come in sections. You can order different sections and make up your own sofa, basically. And so they each have a main product with various varying number of sub-products, if you like or sections. So I'll just click the publish button and I'll do a price list by product which I'll call sectionals. So CatBase is now publishing that data to a text file which has all the information plus all the formatting instructions in it. Now we switch to InDesign and I'll open my template that I'm using which is the price list by product template. There we go. Oh, never mind about that. Uh, let's hide the ugly bits. Okay. So now I'll click in that box and I'll go to the file menu and choose import text with text X tags. Select that file I just created from CatBase. So InDesign is now, it has now imported all that information and tried to format it. Now it's done a pretty good job but as you can see, it's well, it's put in the manufacturer's information, the information about the product, product picture. Um, there's obviously supposed to be a second picture with this one, but I haven't got it, so it's just made an empty box. Now, here's our table, and if I zoom in on that, you can see that what it's done is it's put in the first column where the picture is going to go, it's put information about the picture that goes there, the size, exactly which picture, where to find it, and stuff like that. And another thing to look at is in the second product here, if you look in the first item, we've got a note. And for this particular project, the notes are going to be moved into a separate row within the table. Okay, so what we do is we uh, we're going to run a script let me bring my script palette over here. So here's a script called Note Slider. If I double click on that, it's going to tell me first of all I've got to save the document. So let's do that and we'll call it Sectionals. Okay, now I can run the script. All right, so the script is executing and what it's doing is it's looking at each table and it looks at the first column in each table to see if there's a reference to a picture in there. And if there is, then it locates that picture, it creates the picture box in the designated size, and it finds the picture, puts it in that picture box, and fits it automatically, uh, proportionally. So it does take a minute to do this because InDesign has to find all those pictures and place them. So there we go. Now you can see what it's done. Here are our pictures now in the first column of the table and if we look at that second uh, come on now. if I look at that second product you can see it's taken that note that was sticking out the end here it's made a new row in the table and inserted the text from the notes field into that row styled it in um, an italic style so these are the kinds of things you can do with scripts and I'll just point out a few other things while we're here. Note that the tables are actually different for each product. So for example, this table has that many columns and it's that wide. This table for a different product has different information. And so it has a different number of columns and consequently the table is a different width. Also all the pricing columns have a blue background. And this is something you have complete control over in CatBase. You can make columns whatever colour you want them, the background, um, and you can format your tables. R really, you have complete control over how you want your tables formatted, and it's all very flexible. And here's another one. That, there we go. And this has even fewer columns, and only one of them is a price column, and that's set in blue. And it's got our pictures there and everything. So there you go. That's how easy it is.